Hey everybody, Tony D with the Screenwriter's Rant. Little Joan is fast asleep on the couch. Uh, this one movie is called The Marijuana Conspiracy, and uh, it's based on a true story. And that true story, as I vaguely remember it, it was a study about marijuana. So they paid college students to smoke pot and then studied the effects. Um, I don't know how closely this mirrors the actual events. It's been so long. I mean, this was 72. I vaguely remember reading about it years after. But, um, you know, it, it starts out, in terms of the trailer, pretty promising, fun. <laughs> uh, you got all these girls, and they're all women. And, in, uh, and as soon as I saw they were all women... I immediately got a little suspicious. I'm like, why are they all women? Like, where are the other, where are the guys, like, for this study? But, okay, so they're all women for some reason. And they are all getting paid to smoke pot if they stay in. And then all the guys around them, or uh, the people running the experiment, are men. And they're talking about how they're manipulating the results and how they're not really... Um, keeping the women safe uh, because the study was supposed to show something and it turns out the girls who are stoned are doing better in the study than, uh, I guess, a control group. And they didn't want that to happen is the implication. It reminds me of an old uh, bit from an old TV show called WKRP in Cincinnati where they did a study on alcohol and their reactions were supposed to get slower, but the joke was they just kept getting faster because um, the way they the way they did the experiment. So at first the trailer seems fun. It's like all oh, women from different backgrounds are all gonna be in this and they're laughing it up because they get the smoke pot and get paid and they're eating and they're having a good time. And then it just starts to get dark and it's like, you know, here's, here's, they start making these bead things and they start beating the other contestants, I guess, in the study, the control group. And, uh, and they're trapped there for the whole time. Now, these sort of uh, uh, gigs actually paid pretty well because it was, not only did you get paid, but you got room and board for however long it was. Um, but it usually was a few thousand dollars. Now, I knew some guys back in the 90s who did it, and it, it was a little little more intense and messed up. But this was just pot. So about halfway through this trailer, it starts to get dark because they decide to fix the results, and then it becomes a different kind of movie. Instead of a fun movie about people getting stoned, it becomes this movie about men versus women. Or the evil society of men doing bad things to women and then the women rising up and protesting uh, and, you know, turning the tables. And it doesn't feel very realistic, feels very forced. Um, they had no one to protect them. They volunteered for a study and got paid to smoke pot. It's a little hard to feel sorry for them. They had no one to protect them. They could just leave. Uh, you know, you can just leave these studies. So, the whole thing feels a bit contrived to me. Feels like the whole thing was somebody dug up this story and then sort of put in the, let's call it the anti-patriarchy theme um that's what it feels like so it feels very forced at the end here and then the women are talking about how you're really a you're my family okay uh i mean it's nice i guess that's in a movie so that could be a positive message but i don't feel the characters were fleshed out at least in the trailer they didn't give us a hint of why these women needed that sort of sisterhood or whatever. 
uh, and they all they don't have di distinctive personalities. And there was ample time in this trailer to give us some of that. They could have given us that and showed us that, oh, here's here's the girl who likes this and the girl who does that. And instead, um, this feels very much like a movie written by an SJW because you have a black woman, a woman who's a bit of a tomboy, and then a couple other women, and the, the black girl and the tomboy are, are pretty central. So it feels like the movie... Uh, writers are assuming you're going to understand their traits by who they are rather than giving us, showing us, you know, who they are. They don't show. They they do and they don't. They, they, they're, it's almost like they're making these assumptions. Oh, you know. You know, right? No. No, we don't. These these women could have been wildly different. That That tomboyish woman could have been super feminine right uh, uh, you know and it's just it's just not here there it feels like and look look at the look at the symbol on the o it feels like this is hey we're gonna push push an agenda rather than a story and that's sad because the beginning of it i was into it i was like oh this could be fun a bunch of college girls get stoned and they they do some crazy stuff. I mean, that's usually a fun movie. Not a downer. What the hell are you doing? Samuel Goldman films. Uh, let's see. Who wrote this? Written, produced, and directed by Craig Price. Okay. So a guy wrote, produced, and directed it. So if this is going to be a big statement on anti-patriarchy and sisterhood, Shouldn't have a woman have written it? <laughs> wouldn't it? Wouldn't it have rang more true? So, you know, it's funny because there's a lot of these kinds of movies coming out, and I, uh, I used to read the trades to find people looking for scripts, and now I check other places on the internet, but. In the last two to three years, the new trend has been pretty woke themes, and a lot of them have been female-centric uh, screenplays is what they're looking for. But more than that, a lot of producers are asking for female screenwriters to step forward. So they're not just asking, hey, do you have a screenplay that fits this milieu, let's say. They're asking, if you're a female screenwriter, contact me. Now, a lot of times you see that ad and you hear rumors from other screenwriters that really it's a scam for some creepy guy to get with some girl who wants to be a screenwriter, right? But I think some of this, at least, is this trend of, well, we got to have a female, you know, writer to write this movie. Now, I'm not saying it, it's this movie, but I'm saying with... A lot of movies in Hollywood, they're ghostwritten by the screenwriter. So wouldn't that be ironic that not only are you getting these movies, these sort of feminist movies, you're getting them, <laughs> the women who write them aren't getting credit, let's say. I Again, I don't know if this movie is one of those. Could be, might not be, I don't know. No inside information. Just speculating here, but I've seen a ton of ads looking for female screenwriters. I haven't seen that many movies produced, you know, by female, well, female screenwriters getting produced. So is it just Hollywood or Hollywoke exploiting the trend? I would suggest yes, 100%. And when the trend's over, and I try to tell people this, trends do die and when they die they die hard hard meaning that no one wants these things after the trend is dead ever they they go far as far away from the old trend as possible when's the last time you saw an x-files movie or a movie like that it's done 
that that milieu is when that was over when they had milked it for all it was worth it was done except for the original x-files maybe you could squeeze out another movie but it's uh the trends die hard so i think that's what we're seeing a little bit or will you know in terms of the female stuff in terms of in terms of the woke stuff it's gonna die hard people will i mean they'd rather not watch entertainment at all um anyhow it's getting late i gotta wrap uh on to the next one